Located on the banks of the Yangtze River, Wuhan is the largest industrial city in central China. Wuhan, which means valiant Chinese, is the homeland of Shirley Zhang. Born in 1986, Shirley was a good child, an excellent student, and very popular at school. Her mother, Dr. Jenny Shi, taught at Tonji Medical University and provided a comfortable and happy life for Shirley. Shirley's mother knew, with the large number of young professionals coming into the workforce, it was only a matter of time before she would be forced to retire. So Dr. Shi decided to immigrate to Canada to seek opportunities to continue her career. Shirley was 11 when she arrived in Canada with her mother. They faced an uncertain future, financial difficulties and language barriers. Shirley only spoke Chinese. It was hard to make friends at first, and especially where people besides you can speak in their normal, in their native tongue, and you couldn't understand. It's, it gets a little terrifying for sure, cause, because no one can understand what you are trying to express, and people don't understand. Um, and um, I can't understand what they're saying either. She was very frustrated. And then meanwhile, she missed all her friends in China. It was a difficult time for young Shirley. She worked hard to fit in and learned English so she could communicate with those around her. Her determination paid off. She conquered English, and by grade nine, she even earned an A standing in French. Shirley now speaks five languages, Mandarin, English, Cantonese, Spanish, and French. She's also a Spanish tutor and president of the Hispanic Club at her school. She's uh, studied Spanish with me here, so now she's added that to her repertoire of languages. and. Uh, I think, you know, she has a love of language. I think it stems from her love of people in general and a, and, and a real interest in being able to communicate with them one-on-one, -on, -one, on their level, in their language. As early as grade eight, Shirley was volunteering to tutor other Chinese immigrants in English. Since then, her community activities have grown to include volunteering at Wood Green Community Center as editor of the Volunteers Newsletter, and in the center's community daycare and at the Riverdale Community Camp. Most recently, Shirley is a volunteer organizer at the Toronto Dollar Booth of the St. Lawrence Market. The market is a very friendly place and it reminds me of all, all the traditions of Canada which I learned, learned on history books. Helping people through her volunteer work has become a significant part of Shirley's life. At her school, she is the head math and science tutor. She designs for the school fashion show, organizes parent-teacher nights, and is involved in various fundraising events. Shirley is a student ambassador of the Kids Help Phone program and last year helped sponsor a child from Guatemala. My volunteer work has helped me a lot because it helped me to open up and talk to people and not be so shy so I can really fit into the community better. Shirley's academic achievements are also very impressive. In 2003, she became the school champion of Fermat Waterloo Mathematics Contest and in 2002 received the Junior Mathematics League Certificate of Achievement. In 2001, she won the Grade 9 Achievement Award and in 1999, the popular Chinese newspaper World Journal presented her with the Outstanding Achievement Certificate. In her first year in Canada, she was honored as a student of the year by her elementary school. As a teacher, she's one of those students that you know, one knows is going to be successful in life. She will excel at whatever she chooses to do, and I know that, that no matter what field she enters, that she will do her best and give her all. I love to study commerce in maybe University of Toronto or York University. So I like to stay in Toronto with my mom because um, I guess we take care of each other. I must say I'm a very lucky mother. She never gave me any trouble. She, she's worked so considerate. She knows how to think for you. That is a very precious part about her quality. Mostly it's my mother helping to raise me on her own. And she taught me that uh, failure, is, failure is the mother of success, so that I would always move forward. And if I, if I cannot achieve something, um, just take it back and um, think about what I did and try my best next time. And I guess you really helped me come this far. I really thank my mother. She is the uh, strength that keep me going. Shirley Zheng was born in a city that means valiant Chinese. Fitting description for a young 17-year-old who is kind, respectful, deep and good.